In this video, I'm going to take a close-up picture of the pillars of creation. Yeah, the picture that the Hubble Space Telescope made famous, that one. But my telescope isn't in space, it's just sitting right here in the backyard. I may not have NASA's budget or education level for that matter, but I can hold my own. So grab a cold one, cause your old pal Trevor's about to get real geeky about space again. Seriously, is this my job? The Pillars of Creation was an image created using the Hubble Space Telescope back in 1995. It's one of the most iconic astronomical images of all time and you've definitely seen it before. It features elephant trunks of eroded interstellar gas that were shaped by intense radiation of massive nearby stars. These finger-like columns of gas and dust are actually inside of a very popular deep sky target, the Eagle Nebula in the constellation Serpens. This is a bright emission nebula and star forming region that's about 7,000 light years away. From my backyard here in Canada, the Eagle Nebula and the Pillars of Creation will appear right about here in the south. The telescope I'm using has a focal length of about a thousand millimeters, so it'll really allow me to zoom in on those Pillars of Creation and get an up-close photo. Believe it or not, even a small telescope will reveal the core of the Eagle. It won't be as big, but you'll still be able to see the Pillars of Creation in there. It's pretty amazing. The first time I shot the Eagle Nebula was with a compact 80 millimeter refractor and I could see the pillars in there. It was so exciting. If you're new to astrophotography, you might not realize how light polluted most of the world is. It makes observing and photographing even the brightest deep sky objects like the Eagle Nebula a challenge. But thankfully there is a solution, a good one. Light pollution filters can help you capture better full color images from the city but narrow band filters is where it really gets interesting. Since the Eagle Nebula is emitting light primarily in hydrogen, I can isolate those important details using a hydrogen alpha filter or an HA filter. With a narrow band filter like that in place, my camera sensor can ignore almost all other sources of light except for that very specific band pass of hydrogen alpha at the 656 nanometer range. I'm using a new reducer lens that will actually decrease the native magnification of the telescope, but it will give it a magical boost in light gathering power. Now I've already got a good base image of the Eagle Nebula that of course includes the pillars of creation in my archives. I've literally photographed the Eagle Nebula over 30 times in my lifetime, probably more actually. But tonight I'm gonna take the most important data yet, long deep exposures of the core and hydrogen alpha, those beautiful pillars. I'll process my latest data captured tonight and apply it to my original photo for the perfect pillar portrait. The camera continues to take sub-exposures on the Eagle Nebula and those beautiful pillars. I went with 300 second exposures. I said I would go longer, but because I have that reducer in place, I am actually gathering more light in a five minute exposure. So I felt like that was the sweet spot. The camera is a monochrome CCD, not a CMOS camera. This is the Starlight Express SX42. And this was a kit sent by Starlight Express um, two years ago now. And uh, it's just been an amazing camera and I've just had so many other things on the go. I haven't used it a lot recently, uh, but the reason I'm using this setup tonight is because I have uh, another setup in the observatory, which is so close to being ready to go. I just need to iron a few more things out, but in there is that ASI 2600mm Pro camera. That's my observatory camera, if you will. Well, let's just loosen the three screws, remove the cover, ethanol on a cotton bud. Okay, isopropyl, 12 bottles, DSLR sensor cleaning kit, add to cart. How am I gonna pay for all this stuff? This video was sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community that has thousands of classes on pretty well anything you can think of. I am now taking the productivity class by Ali Abdal on how to better understand the productivity equation. Ash, am I productive? 
I, I just need to get better, that's all. Skillshare has classes on everything from Adobe Lightroom to time management. They're all premium classes with no ads. It's affordable too. If you sign up for the yearly plan, it's less than $10 a month. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link to Skillshare in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore all of the classes they have. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's look at the data I captured the other night on the Eagle Nebula in Hydrogen Alpha. This was taken with a six nanometer astronomic narrowband filter to be exact. This is just under two hours worth of five minute exposures before the clouds returned. Just look at this glorious data. The structure of the nebula can be seen on that bright moonlit light polluted sky. It's really incredible. You can see the pillars of creation in here and this is the most impactful, important data that I'm going to apply to my original color image. Basically, I'll use this tasty H-alpha data to kind of clean up my color channels as a luminance layer, and I'll do my best to mimic the Hubble palette look using this random mix of data I have. If you notice the image scale, the pillars are really, really small. We're really zoomed in here, and this was taken with a thousand millimeter telescope, so that should give you an idea of what to expect. Uh, if you're shooting with a shorter focal length. The pillars are small. The resolution really starts to dip as we get in closer because of course we just keep zooming in and these pixels are getting larger. But at this point, I'd like to remind you that my telescope is six inches in aperture and the Hubble Space Telescope is nearly eight feet. Okay, it's time for the reveal. Let me know if you think my image comes close or it's just an embarrassment. Ethanol on a cotton bud? Ethanol? Okay, isopropyl. 12 bottles. APS-C DSLR sensor cleaning kit. Add to cart. 